Ex Yingbei Malmsteen singer Jeff Scott Soto, who has had an acrimonious relationship with the legendary Swedish guitarist in recent years, claims that Yingbei threatened to cancel his concert on Thursday night in Agora Hills, California, after finding out his former bandmate was in attendance. Late last night, Jeff took to his social media to write, Hey my peeps, here's a fun little ditty for ya. I went to the Canyon Club tonight, my local watering hole for the past 21 years. It's like my cheers where everybody knows my name. I actually went to see one of the support bands who were killer by the way. I hesitated on going because my former boss was headlining, but I was not planning to stay anyway. Well, word got to him I was in the house and I was kindly told as long as I am present, the show would be cancelled. Now I've seen it all. I left as planned but it's kind of funny. I just had to share the ludicrousness not a real word but seems to fit the detail that continues in 2022. I laughed all the way home. Jeff added, I'm sure this will be shared like crazy but I couldn't help but sharing it with you all. Good times. Earlier today, Malmsteen disputed Soto's account of what happened in Agora Hills, writing on his Facebook page. I think some people are making up stories to be in the media again. Kids, don't believe made-up bullshit from people who are trying to stay relevant. He's not important for me to cancel my show to my fans. On the other hand, I was told by my agent that he snuck in there without paying. So the security threw him out. Certain people make up stories. Turn up at my show. Get kicked out by security because they snuck in the venue without paying. Then turn around make up a story to try and grab media attention. Some people are sick. Stop stalking me and get help. When one fan questioned Yingbei about his claim that Jeff has to struggle to appear relevant on the scene today. And challenged Malmsteen to compare audience response to said projects and releases to what Yingbei has accomplished during the same period. Malmsteen responded. Let me think. In the last 15-20 years, I have been on the American Billboard chart every single time I have released a record including my last one. Being playing theaters, promoters are happy. On top of that I have made mega deals including signature models with major companies such as Marshall, Fender, Ovation, Dunlop, Seymour Duncan, Lewitt Microphones and the list goes on. On top of that I have won awards for the most magazine covers ever in the history of certain guitar magazine. Would you like me to carry on? None of this matters to me. However what does matter is an intent to smear and attack me and my reputation for the last 40 years. Everything this man says is a lie with the intent to do damage. I have not once spoken about him and nor have any interest to, simply because he's not important to me. And yet he can't stop talking about me on a regular basis, making up stories because he has not had any relevant success on his own. He tailgates on other people. He needs to just move on and stop stalking me. Oh I almost forgot. I have over half a million listeners on Spotify every month alone. His. Let me look it up. Oh no. Only 40k. Yep. He needs to keep slandering me a bit more. Soto has since returned to social media to respond to Yingbei with the following message. I will put this to rest after clarifying a few things. God forbid anyone who thinks I am trying to drum up press, especially by berating someone in the process. I post my past on social media to celebrate and share the pride I have for my musical endeavors the past four decades. I don't, and don't need to ride anyone's coattails, stock, or trying to drum up press for myself. I have my music, and the current things I partake in to do this. Everything else I share is a celebration. Nothing more, nothing less. I went out to a venue I frequent for the past 21 years. I have played this venue more times than I can remember or count, and know all that have been and still there. Since I walked through those doors the first time in 2001, I have not snuck into a show since 1988, when I heard of an intimate jam. Prince was throwing at an undisclosed location, which I found out about, and finally made it in 15 minutes before he was done playing. That said, if I have to sneak into a venue or not pay to get into one for anyone, I simply would not even be near the building. I am 56, not 16. Lastly, I went to this venue to see someone play, who was very near and dear to me. When I found out who the headliner was, I decided it best not to go, as I didn't want to ruffle any feathers in any way. Then I decided, I will go but leave before said headliner begins, as I had no interest in seeing that part of the evening anyway. If anyone has been paying attention to interviews, award speeches, and even my own social media where I have stated numerous times, all I want in my life is peace, no enemies, no animosity, especially with anyone in my past. They will know my intent is only about leaving this planet with no water under the bridge. I extend olive branches, continue to celebrate my past with a positive spin, and make sure everyone knows I want to hug it out with anyone who has, or has had any issue with me. If this is sick, 
then institutionalize me immediately. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.